It's the middle of November and some people have already got Christmas decorations up outside their houses. I have no idea what that's all about. I mean, really, can't you just wait till the beginning of December? But Christmas is coming this year. It's coming contrary to popular belief. Christmas is coming. It won't be normal Christmas for, for many of us, but uh, Christmas is coming. When I think of Christmas, I always remember one particular Christmas when my son was like two or three years old, I'm, I'm guessing, and we bought him one of those toys like you do, with, uh, which required batteries. So for whatever reason, we wrapped up the batteries separate to the present, uh, the main gift, and I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I always remember his little face, and uh, he, he say so he couldn't have been more than two or three. We were living in America at the time, and he opened the batteries first, and he picked them up. And he goes, "Ooh, batteries!" And he was genuinely, genuinely excited about opening up these batteries. We've got clocks that take batteries, we've got remote controls that take batteries, we've probably got torches as we call them here in the UK, or flashlights um, that take batteries, or we've got our Dyson personal vibrator that takes a battery. But what sort of batteries are you using? Are you using rechargeable batteries, or are you using single-use batteries? To my way of thinking, I reckon it's just like a single-use plastic bag. Why would you use a single-use battery if you don't use a single-use bag? What's the point? Why do you do that? So in a recent survey, which is basically me imagining what people are going to say when I ask them why they use single-use batteries, and they're probably the answers I would have given 11 or 12 months ago, people would say one of the following. They don't last long enough. They take too long to charge. They're a bit shit, aren't they? I would need to buy a charger. They are too expensive. Or anything else, comment below. Why do you use single-use batteries? Comment below. If I appear to have moved position just now, it's because the battery has literally just gone on my camera, which is very funny indeed. Uh, so uh, here we go. Let's look at the first thing that people say. So they don't last long enough. Well, it's really interesting, and I've done some research on this. So if you're talking about high drain items, a high drain item is something like a torch, flashlight, um, uh, camera, uh, your Dyson personal vibrator, those sorts of things, your rechargeable battery is going to last about four times longer uh, on a single charge than a, a disposable battery. For low drain items, and I'm talking about your clocks and your remote controls, it actually swings the other way around so that a disposable battery will last four times longer than a than a rechargeable on a single charge. I hope you're still following me. Which then becomes irritating, yes? Because you've got to keep changing the battery in the remote control, which is irritating. It's irritating for all of us, I know this. But let's weigh that against this. A high drain item, your rechargeable battery is going to last between 2,000 and 4,000 times longer in its life than your single-use battery. Simple maths, really simple maths. And with your low-drain items, which is your clocks and your remote controls, because the single-use battery lasts four times as long on a, than a single charge of a rechargeable, that figure only comes down, you're only getting between 125 and 250 times more power from your battery in its entire life. So, is it even worth it? You only get 100, between 125 and 250 times longer life out of a rechargeable battery for your remote control. Is it worth 
that when you're watching, when you're sitting there and you're watching David Attenborough's Life on Our Planet, and suddenly you remember you want to record Top Gear, and the battery is gone. The battery has gone. How irritating is that? Is it worth that one lasting you between 125 and 250 times longer to be able to record Top Gear just when you want to? And if you are watching David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet, and you still actually feel that that's not worth it, you have not been paying attention. Really watch it. You should really watch that program. It's worth the effort. They take too long to charge. Okay. You can get battery chargers that will take 14 hours to charge and you can get battery chargers that will take an hour to charge. But if you convert your entire house over to rechargeable batteries, I'll tell you exactly what you're going to do, which is exactly what I do, which is I always have some batteries charged. So if a battery goes, I can put another one in straight away. It's simple. It's simple. Otherwise, get a fast charger and sit around for an hour. They're a bit shit, aren't they? Yes, of course they are. That's why they put them in every single mobile phone and every new electric car and every bit of new tech that is coming out. Of course they're shit. Otherwise they wouldn't do that, would they? Get a life. I would need to buy a charger. You're right, you would need to buy a charger and you can pick them up. You can pay from anything from about 10 pounds to about 50 pounds if you've got that kind of money to waste to buy a charger. And it's probably about the same in dollars. So for 50 pounds, you're probably going top draw here. So you're gonna get you know, a multi-charger. It will charge all of your batteries. Unless you're going for a Gucci uh, charger or something. I don't know if Gucci make chargers. We're gonna work on 50 pounds for, for the purpose of these calculations. So uh, bear with me here while I run through some numbers. So if you've got money to burn, you're gonna spend the 50 pounds and you're gonna get a multi-charger. So I've looked at what I've got in my house, right? I've got five clocks, one keyboard, one mouse, three remotes, four gym items, two flashlights, one coffee whisk, microphone, camera, a guitar tuner, and a fix pedal. So that's about 30 batteries. I've done some rough numbers here. So this, we're gonna say a disposable battery is gonna cost you approximately 50p each or 50 cents each. Uh, again, I think this is probably similar in America than it is to what it is here in Canada, similar kind of numbers. Um, and a rechargeable battery costs approximately two pounds each. And, and again, this, both those numbers can go up or down. Um, and if you're like most people, uh, your disposable batteries, you run out and you run to the nearest convenience store and you pay top dollar for it. But we're working on, the, on, on you being sensible in buying these things for 50p. And rechargeable batteries, I can get them a lot less than two pounds each. But this is what we're gonna work on for the simple maths or math for this, okay? So I'm working on the assumption here that between my high drain and low drain items, I'm gonna change each of my batteries once every six months. Once every six months, okay? So, to make life easier, I've done these as cumulative values. So year one, it's cost to you would be 30 pounds, and that would be 90 dead batteries. So that's 30 dead batteries that you've thrown away from the year before, and 60 dead batteries you've thrown away that year. So year one, total cost, 30 pound, 90 dead batteries. Year two, cumulative cost, it's 60 pounds now. So that's 30 pounds a year. So it's going up by 30 pounds a year and that's 150 dead batteries in total. Year three, 90 pounds, 210 dead batteries in total. Year four, total cost for four years, 120 pounds, 270 dead batteries. And year five, total cumulative cost for five years to have disposable single-use batteries is 150 pounds 
and 330 dead batteries thrown away. So let's look then at rechargeable batteries. Based on those numbers I gave you, and I should point out here again, this is cumulative. So in year one, it's 110 pounds, and that's made up of 50 pounds for your Gucci uh, multi-charger and 60 pounds for your batteries. And really you're paying top dollar on this if, you, if you're paying that much for your, for your rechargeable batteries. But we're using that for the simple maths. And the cost of the planet is your 30 batteries, which is the 30 single use batteries you threw away because you had them last year. So that's your cost of the planet there. Year two, your cumulative cost is still 110 pounds because you haven't spent any more on your batteries or your uh, charger. And still you've only thrown away the 30 batteries from the year before. And year three, gosh, look at that, it's still 110 pounds. And, and you're still only throwing away those 30 dead batteries. And year four, let's just quick calculate. Oh yeah, that's 110 pounds as well. So in total, up to year four, you've only, you've only spent 110 pounds and uh, you've still thrown away a total of 30 dead batteries. Year five, gosh, let's just calculate that. Yep, that's 110 pounds still and still only 30 dead batteries in total thrown away over five years, 110 pounds cost over five years. So there's a small saving. But I know what you're thinking. I know what you are thinking now. What about the electricity costs? They are negligible, negligible, but I've got them here. The cost of charging 30 batteries four times per year is going to set you back less than 50p or 50 cents and that is rounding it up. The, the actual cost of, re, of charging a battery is 0 0.002 pence and I'm assuming it's cents as well. I am. I mean, it's not going to be wildly out. It is nothing. So you can add, if you go to, to four years, you can add another two pounds to that. So that would make it 112 pounds over, over four years. Compared to 120 pounds over four years. Well, it's not worth it, is it? It's not worth it. But you're saving the planet. You're saving the planet. So the next item on my list, they're too expensive. But I think I've just, I think I've just covered that. Um, the rule of thumb is you can recharge a battery four times, you have saved money. More times for low drain items and less times for high drain items. It's simple maths. Well, I'm confused. I am confused. But it is just simple maths, isn't it? Simple maths. So, next, what else? What other objections have you got? Comments, please, comment below. I'd really like to hear them. I mean, really sensible comments, but comment below. I'd love to hear if you've got some ideas. But let's, let's do that. What other things can there be? So it's really irritating when the battery runs out as often. And it is, it is. I feel for you. I do, I've been there. It's so irritating. But it's worth it. It's worth it financially and it's worth it for the planet. Let's look at the actual cost to the environment of manufacturing and disposing of a, at least 30 batteries per household per year. And I say at least because it's a lot more than that. In 2012, a case study showed that the USA used around 4 billion disposable batteries but four billion, hold that number. So that's each household using 47 batteries per year. So my 30 was an underestimate. I pulled that number out for the USA. I'm gonna to move to the UK for this next one. In 2019, in the UK, less than 50% of disposable batteries were recycled and the other half went straight to, to landfill where they became zombie batteries. 
if you don't know what a zombie battery is and you're still with me, stick around because this is really interesting, fascinating stuff. One of the good things about batteries, both sorts of batteries, is they are about 90% recyclable. But you have to recycle them in the right place. You can't put them in landfill. You have to take them in the UK, um, almost every supermarket, not even the major ones, almost every supermarket has a place to recycle batteries. Take them there, don't put them in your trash. Clearly 50% of people don't take them there. If you do nothing else, if you carry on using single-use bloody batteries, take them to the right place to be recycled. If you learn nothing else from this, do that. Because zombie batteries are a problem. Basically, batteries can spontaneously combust. And it's rare, it's really rare. But when you are putting millions of them into landfill, not just in this country, wherever you are now, this is happening all over the world. But let's talk about the UK. We are putting millions of them in, into landfill every year. Between, between April 2019 and March 2020, there were almost 260 fires in landfills and recycling facilities caused by zombie batteries, by batteries spontaneously combusting. I love the way they report this stuff in financial years because it's money that talks. You know, well, how many, how, uh, and how much that cost when the fires? Well, okay, da, da, da. and that's what they do. You know, normally you would go, well, in 2019 this happened or 2020 this happened, but you know, we report everything because we're driven by bloody money. And if you are driven by money, then save yourself some money and get rechargeable batteries. But anyway, I digress. So what do I want you to do? What I want you to do is what I do. I want you to swap these, these things, these batteries, these single use. It says industrial strength on there and I believed it. But the, do you know what? There is no law that, that says they can't put industrial strength on there. It doesn't mean anything. It's like when they have a pro phone. What do you mean a pro bloody phone? What, is that only professional people can use it? You've got to, you've got to have, a, you know, my job is, 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 is a phone person, so therefore I, I can use a pro phone industrial pro it's all bullshit this is bullshit use these use these that's what you can do but if you're going to continue to use this shit make sure you dispose of them correctly and shame on you if you still are using this stuff after watching this this christmas give somebody the gift of a multi-charger and a stack of rechargeable batteries, AAs and AAAs. Anyway, next week, I'm gonna be talking about chocolates because it's Christmas and chocolates are everywhere. So next week I'm gonna be talking about chocolates. So please do tune in again next week. And if you care about this stuff, which you should care about this stuff, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking, it's still ticking. So if you care about this stuff, please do subscribe if you have not done so. And comment and like and share. You can share across any of the social media platforms, any of them. Together we can make a difference and I hopefully, and hopefully you will see me again next week. I've been Angus, thank you. For Christ's sake, not again. Whose idea was it to put the bloody electricity on batteries?